Hey, what's going on guys? I'm going to show you today how to use Act Trader. Let's get straight into the video. Okay, so one of the first things you're going to need to do is have an account with Hanko Trade. So it's very simple. I'll have a link down below in my description to sign up with Hanko Trade. But if you don't want to use the link and you come here to hankotrade.com, all you do is hit register right here and it will give you a easy sign up page here. It's super fast, super quick. You don't have to submit any ID documents because it is a unregulated broker. So it's super fast and efficient and you can be up and trading within a short period of time. Okay, so once you have an account, this is when you can come to Act Trader. And now with Act Trader, there is different ways of accessing it, but today we're going to be covering the Web Trader. So, obviously if you have a demo account, you can use the Web Trader demo. Today we are going to be using our live account, so we just access it very simply by clicking Web Trader Live. Now, once you click on the Web Trader page, it's going to prompt you to log in. This is where you're going to enter your login login details. Okay, now that I just logged in, it's immediately going to bring you to this page where on the left you have all your Forex pairs, as you can see here. In the middle of the page, this is where we have our chart. This is where we can do all our charting and mark out, you know, all our different levels and zones. And we have here all our time frames that we like to use, like the one minute, five minute, three minute, etc. And then we also have indicators here. So we can add indicators to our charts. And obviously on the left side of the chart here, we have all our tools that we can use to do our charting. So it's super simple, super clean. On the right side of our page here, this is where we are going to have our execution area this is where we're going to be selling or buying our trades and then you know either entering at market or buying at a limit or buying at a stop and this is where you can enter all your information for that and then if you click on advanced options this is where you can set your stop loss trailing stop loss take profit etc and then you can also add a comment onto your trades and this is actually really useful too if you want to mark down just little notes about each trade that you take once you get familiar with the web trade this is when you can go ahead ahead and deposit money to start trading. So how do you deposit money? Well, firstly, you're going to log into your Hanko Trade account. So once you've logged in, you can come here to the deposit tab. You go to cryptocurrency, select your account. Obviously, your account currency will show up there. And the next thing you're going to do is select whatever currency you would like to use to deposit. So the most basic one is obviously Bitcoin or Ethereum. Today, we are going to select Ethereum. All you do is hit proceed. And then the website will now give you an address. You can copy this address and this is where you're going to send your Ethereum. And obviously, if you picked Bitcoin, that's where you're going to send your Bitcoin, etc. And then whatever amount you send there will deposit to this account. So it's super simple. You can also use the QR code here and scan it with your crypto wallet or whatever you're using to deposit. Super simple, super efficient, and it's fast, especially if you're using Ethereum. It sends pretty quick. Let's move on to the next step. Once you get your deposit, it will show up here in your balance and this is when you can actually start trading now. So you want to trade. What is your first step? Well, obviously you want to do your technical analysis, your fundamental analysis, and obviously come up with whether you want to buy or sell on whatever pair it is that you're trading. So I have lots of strategies that are covered all in my YouTube channel, but today we're just going to trade a random pair as an example, just to show you exactly how it works. I haven't done any analysis yet on any specific pair, but this is just a tutorial on how to use web trader so if you want to actually learn a strategy all my other videos will cover that okay so let's say you were doing some analysis on euro usd and you found out that you wanted to take a buy on this pair well over on the left hand side here we can pick whatever pair we want to trade for example if you wanted to trade uh, gold you just click that if you want to trade your odd you click it over here and the chart will show up here and it'll be super nice and easy for you to get a visual on everything um, but today let's say we want to trade euro usd we just click it and as you can see it pops up on the side there and then from here obviously we can see price action and get a better look at what's going on on the charts so that's pretty nice okay so now on the right hand side if we want to execute a trade we can either take a market entry and this is going to enter us exactly where price is right now or we can take a buy stop and this will enter us at any price that will be above the current price and then we have the buy limit and then with the buy limit we can enter at a price that will be below where we are right now. Let's say we want it to enter above where we are right now. The current price is 1.09838. So we could do 
eight, three, nine or eight, four, let's say. And then let's say we want to do 0.2 lots on that. Now we can place buy order there. Yeah, it's very close. Can't do it. Place new order. It's a little too close to where we are right now. So we have to wait a second here. 1.0986. Let's try this. 0.02 place by order cool so we have a pending order nice so as you can see here we have a pending order so now when price goes and hits 1.0986 we will be entered into the trade so let's mark out 1.86 1.986 boom so when we hit this blue line this will enter us into our trade and then we can go ahead and set a stop loss and whatnot we can actually probably even right now go ahead and set a stop loss so like let's say now you wanted to set a stop loss below here for 19828 okay cool as you can see this pending order we just hit it over here and now we're in the trade so if we go to open trades as you can see we are we got in that trade that we wanted to get into so now you're in your trade how do you set your stop loss and your take profit well let's say you wanted to go ahead and set your stop loss below here you could go ahead and modify it using this button down here we click stop loss and then we want to do that blue line like we said so we are going to go 1.09 1.09814 and then we can do okay go to order now as you can see it shows our stop loss is 1.09814 so right on this blue line is where our stop loss is and now let's say where do we want our take profit let's say we want our take profit at a one to one we're going to set our take profit at 1.09905 so then we can do take profit 1.09905 okay order there we go and now our take profit is up here nine zero five boom so now we have our take profit up here this is our entry and our stop loss we could even go ahead if we want to and mark this out using this right here now we can actually visualize see where our take profit is and our stop loss is so here we have a nice simple one-to-one -one trade and then we can watch this play out in real time here on the chart. And then obviously here we have our exact trade going on in our open trade here. Pretty simple, right? Okay, now we're gonna show you a nice simple market execution. So let's say we wanted to take another buy here. We can go place another order. Now we can enter at the market price if we want. So let's do another 0.02 lot. We can do that by just clicking the plus or minus sign here. Let's say we want to enter right here at market price. All we do is click that, make sure we selected market and select buy. So now we're in a buy, we're gonna enter at market price and we are going to do 0.02 lots. All we do is click place, buy order, and there you go. So now, as you can see, we have a market order on this line right here, this green line. So now we've entered another trade. Now I can go ahead and mark here and this is exactly where we entered on this trade. So if I wanna do the exact same thing, set my stop loss here once more, and my take profit above once again, it's the exact same thing, super simple. You come down here, you're going to click this little button here. This is how you modify your stop loss and take profit. Stop loss, once again, we're going to do 1.09, 15. Okay, sweet, there we go. And then same thing, once again, let's do our take profit up there. Take profit, 1.09905, okay, cool. Now we have both these trades set for stop losses down here and then take profits up here. Okay, so what if you wanted to place a sell? Well, sell will be the exact same thing. All you do now is click sell and it's gonna be the exact same thing. But here we wanna go for a buy. So now let's say we want to do a buy stop. So now we want price to buy once more if it comes down here. So let's say we want to get into the trade if price hits down here, we want to target that. So we will need to take a buy stop for 1.09830. So we'll do 9832. But see, now we can't enter because it's a little too low. So let's say we want to enter even lower down here, the 81, or we could probably do it now 82. Do 82. Place enter order. Can't do two. I'd have to do one here, I think. Let's do one. 
sorry, buy limit. I accidentally clicked the wrong one. So yeah, we have to do buy limit. There we go. Zero nine eight. Say we do two again. Place. Boom. Okay, so now we're in that order. So now we just placed a buy stop, which means if price comes down and hits this zone here that we have marked out, it will enter us in a trade because that's how our buy stop works. When price falls to this price, we are going to enter there. So as you can see, it's really simple to use this. Um, and then I'm gonna show you, let's say we wanted to close profit a little bit early. Let's see if we can get price to go up into profit here. I'll show you guys how you can exit earlier. If you okay, so we had a nice breakout here. So far we're up about, so far we're up about 76 cents. So let's say you're at a point you know where you want to go ahead and take profit all you do is come over here and hit the x and you can close it like that so now you know we didn't let's say we didn't want to wait for it to go all the way back up and hit our take profit all you do is hit that x and as you can see we close that trade right there for 34 cents profit and then let's say you know we wanted to break even at this trade or up even 12 cents there. All you do is hit the X. Trade has been closed, easy peasy. We're in and out of that trade. Okay, now another thing is if you're really into scalping, there's actually a mode you can enable, which, one of, which is one of the cool features about Act Trader. So if you're into scalping and you have positions that you like to take and you want it to be the same thing every time on every single pair, you can do that. So if you come over to the left hand side here and in this tab next to default, there's four squares here. And if you click that, this activates one click trading. So you can constantly have a stop loss or a take profit and a specific set amount of lots that you always want to use. So now it's very simple. You can easily set your take profit and your stop loss and click buy or sell very easily. So like, for example, let's say, you know, we're on Euro USD currently and we decide we want to trade Euro USD. You can easily have a set amount of lot size that you want to use and a set and a specific set stop loss. You can have that every single time. So let's say we wanted our stop loss to be 989820 or 9815. Boom. All we do is click that. And we're already in our order. We entered at market right there and our stop loss will be already set. So it's a very cool feature that Act Trader has and it simplifies your trading, especially as a scalper. You know, you can easily buy or sell and it has all the pairs here. It's a very nice mode to use and it's very simple, simple and easy. Okay, so let's go ahead and close this trade while we're up 16 cents there. Boom, we go to account history. And as you can see, our past trades will be shown here in the account history tab. It's super simple. Uh, let's go ahead and close this pending order that we have there. Let's hop over to the web version on the phone and let's get a look at this and show you how it works. Okay, so same thing, it's super simple. Um, the web version is pretty much the exact same thing. It's just now the market watches in a specific tab there. And we have charts in that tab. And then we have the trade log in this tab here. So this will be very simple and easy as well. Let's say we wanted to take a buy on US 30. All you're going to do, click buy here. Here you can buy at market, you can buy at buy stop, or you can buy at buy limit. Let's just enter at market. Over here we can choose our lot size. Let's say we want to do a 0.1, place, buy order, easy peasy. And then obviously, you know, we can go to our trade log and here we can modify it, set our stop loss, or take profit, etc. We're already up $5 on this trade. So I'm gonna go ahead and close it. All you do is hit the X. Nice, we are out of that trade. We can go to our account history here. We can see, so we did exit that trade a little late and we ended up losing $3 on that trade. But as you can see, it's super simple on here as well. You have your charts. You can do all your charting on your phone if you would like. Let's go over to US and type in here US 30. Oh, we need to go indices here. US 30, boom. So it'll be the exact same thing here too. You know, if you wanted to, obviously you could take a different kind of position as well. So let's say we wanted to take a sell on EuroCAD. You just hit the S right there for sell. Want to take a market order. 
let's do that boom and then obviously we're in that and then obviously here you go to your open trades and you can see you're currently in this trade and we are down one dollar but this is just an example you can come here to modify you can do partial closes or you can modify to set your stop loss or take profit we're just going to go ahead and close this this is an example as you can see account history you'll see your profit and loss and whatnot so yeah super simple the phone version is the exact same thing as well hopefully that covers a lot of your answers on how to use act trader super simple and hopefully you guys will enjoy this as much as i do because in my personal opinion this is much more of a cleaner experience than mt4 you don't even need an app you can just load it up on your web browser it's super simple